baby we are. Let's do it. Let's make a pie. I have myself a bag of candy. The far. We are we are alive. Hey guys, welcome to Talking Time with Caffeine, the only podcast where we drink caffeine and talk about the world around us. T Today, our guest star, the returning Hauser TV. Are you guys streaming on Twitch or YouTube? Twitch. Twitch. On Schnick's channel? Um, My no, channel. Vandelius. I actually have yet to stream on Twitch. Yeah. We are stre I like Twitch. We're streaming on your GG Gaming. Plug into that. Plug GG Gaming. Yeah, we are see. Sure, are you sure you got it up right now? Whose channel are you on? Let me double check. I'm trying to find it. I'm on. You told me, but I forgot already two seconds ago. Mine. Yeah, I'm going to go on Twitch right now on the iPhone. I'm going to see if I see it. Yeah, it says Vandelia is streaming. And then I say join. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, it's there. It's there. Yeah. Ah! I don't know why it wasn't showing up for me for a second. So, so, Hauser, what's your opinion on games, on, on grinding to get unlockable levels in games? Because, uh, right recently, uh, uh, Snick has been playing a game that everyone, everyone is like, all, all our friends are like overhyped about. He's like, he's angry and angrier about it. Are you talking about like content that's unavailable unless you beat things? Like, uh, what do they call yeah. that? There's a name for that. Well, not necessarily. So, you, yeah, Hauser, you were there a little bit on the stream when I was, took over Lamont's channel to, because generally I. Generally, anytime I want to stream games, I would be kind of be off limits on YouTube. Like, if you're going to get copyright claimed if you do it. Like, generally, I just use Vandalia's Twitch channel, which gives him free content, so he likes that. But. What the hell? Well, there, there. Yeah. That's a problem. Jesus. It's happened before. That's What's the only point. Voice sounds fine right now. All right. Well. You're back. What'd you do? I didn't Did you drop do. Frames, maybe? I didn't do anything. <laughs> and it didn't. And the stream didn't drop frames. It's probably a connection issue, or maybe a computer issue. Mm, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he, he's. Yeah, he, uh, Snick is using a uh, wireless internet. Uh, Bluetooth, I guess. And I can't, a... I can't go wired simply because. Did you see that green box go like red or yellow at all? Like... Mm, on OBS, no. I mean, it was going red a little bit at the start, but not now. Yeah, when it goes green or red, it means something's wrong with your connection. But who knows? You're back now, so I'm cool. If you go right. robot again, I'll tell you so you don't talk like a robot for like ten minutes and don't realize it. Okay. So yesterday you saw the. I was streaming a game called Splatoon 2. Now, you know, Mar yeah, there was Mario 2 101, Brasa 455, and Games for Us. Um, they love the game. And I actually ended up, and true of the matter is, I felt for a while I was kind of getting excluded from stuff. Because literally for like the past about... For the pa what seems like the past couple of months, it feels like it's the only game they ever play. P um, particularly Mario Tube and Brasta 455. Like I had, like Games for Us always seems to be looking at new stuff, but 
It seems like for the other two, they are always playing Splatoon 2. And I don't know, I felt like I was being excluded out of the group for not having the game, so I reluctantly bought a copy of the game from Best Buy. I got it, thankfully, twenty about $20 off, which let me get the DLC. And ultimately, while I thought the single player was fine, like nothing special but fine, the multiplayer I am increasingly getting more and more irritated by. Well, there's a name for that type of content that requires you to be able to access it only by progress. There's a name for it. I mean, well, the whole... It's called... What's it called? It, 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 the only thing it reminds me of is when... It's unlockable content, but there's a name for it, a better name for that. It reminds me of when they used to release in, uh, content on Xbox games. And they probably still do this. And what they would do is they would make it so you'd have to pay to get any further but the content's already on the cd that you purchased so you buy a cd it's all there you've bought the cd but you have to let give them more money to get access to that content it isn't that like, like on disc dlc off. yeah it feels kind of like you're getting ripped off because you already paid for the um what's the word you already paid for the the cd why can't you just have the stuff that's on it well, for one thing, this is on the Nintendo Switch, so it's on cartridges. And no, the DLC campaign is actually something you have to fully download. But... Yeah, this, I'm just saying, that's what it reminds me of, is that stuff that they used to do with um, games like where they... Yeah, it seem, that practice seems to have mostly ceased, but... But the whole... I don't like DLC. I think it's a waste of money most of the time. Well, yeah, but if you were talking to Mario Tube and Brandon, they would be telling, they would be up your ass saying how much they love Splatoon 2's DLC. Well, I'm not saying the content's not bad. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but yeah, the whole yeah the whole thing. But what I was getting at though is in the game's multiplayer mode. Essentially, you're banned from playing all but one game mode, which is the very basic game mode, until you hit rank 10. Yeah. That's and, weird. yeah, like, I put it, like, on one of the streams, I freaking put it as, that would be like if Call of Duty made you only play... That would be like if Call of Duty, you boot it up, and then you play Domination only. Like, whenever... Like, they don't let you play Team Deathmatch until you hit, like, rank 20 or something. Yeah, Hauser isn't really a fond... Uh, a, a multiplayer game to begin with. Ne sure well, ne it's probably no secret that I'm not neat either. Yeah, I, I, I've... Me... Being pl I pl I've played FF11 and WoW for a while, so I'm used to some multiplayer things like that, but I never really got into like like games like Call of Duty and stuff like that. You know, they, they, they also might be different, different beast to burden too, in, in WoW and Call of Duty. I, guess. I mean, so well, game. MMO games are a bit different, though. But yeah, so what I was getting at was, yeah, they lock all the other game modes behind you playing um, the very basic mode called Turf War, where you basically have to cover more of the map in your color ink than the other team. And let's see here. Another thing is, you know how most multiplayer games have, like, a bunch of maps to choose from? Well, in Splatoon's case, they make it to where it only rotates between two maps every two hours. So oftentimes you find yourself playing, like, three, four, five games on the exact same map in quick succession. And now it's freaking lagging. I might want to like Splatoon that much. You must be like really into Splatoon. You're saying no, I might. He, no, he, he's not into Splatoon at all. Everyone else is. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Splatoon. I like the idea of a paint-based game, but I didn't think that uh, Splatoon was like anything that amazing. Y yeah, I mean, at least I know I'm not alone. Like the whole thing is like, it seems like especially. 
it's weird because, I mean, Mario Tube admitted that he knows the game has serious flaws, but he still likes it. But Brass of 455, on the other hand, went as far as to call it his second favorite game, which I thought was a little bit strange considering he's only played it for two months, and the one game that beat it out, Crash Bandicoot, he's been playing his entire life. It is, yeah, it is. Um, but... And then, another thing that I thought was kind of stupid is there's another mode called... Uh, I forget what it's called. Like, more or less, it's kind of a... It's kind of like a horde mode. Like, yeah, see, that goes to show you how much I don't really care because I forgot what the name of it is. All I know is, like, it's a bit of a horde mode. We have to accomplish objectives, like... They specifically compared it to Left 4 Dead. What's stupid is that you can't even access the mode all the time. It's basically only open whenever it wants to be. Like, things that are limited time only in video games have become very popular in the past, I don't know, three years. The companies realized that even though they could make a product and put it out, if they just even if they just make it limited time only... Um, more people, it's more lucrative. You make more money out of it. More people like those words, limited time only, drawing a lot of people. I guess, but. Or they make a lot of money, maybe not drawing a lot of people. But, yeah, that. It does sound kind of weird how they can make a lot. Like, what, getting a whole lot of server traffic all at once just because the mode's open? Like, oh, players flock over now. So, Hauser, you ever been to, you ever not like a game that was very popular, everyone else loved it, but you like, you like whatever, or vice versa, you, you, you like the game that everyone else hated? Yeah, lots of games that I fucking don't like that everybody likes. <laughs> like, uh, like, the yeah, example? Uh, let's see, I mean, like, I never really got into, let's, I'll look something up here, I never really got into the Fallout series. Yeah. I never really got into... What the hell? Big games. I never really got into Far Cry, Uncharted, The Dead Division. Um, yeah, Uncharted. I, 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 I got it with my uh, PS4 when I won it, but uh, never really. It was good at. I mean, uh, Counter Strike, Grand Theft Auto. There was that one, uh, like, I never really, I don't hate Super Smash, but I never really got into Smash all that much. Oh, wow, uh, I remember what, I actually went to one of your streams talking about how I didn't like Smash Bros. 4 all that much, and then I think you responded something along the lines of, but I heard Smash was good. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it, I just never played it. I mean, in all honesty, I, I take... Super Smash Bros. on the N64, and that was it. Yeah, like, the other games had a lot more content. Like, even the Wii U game, which I thought stripped a lot of the content from Melee and Brawl on the GameCube and the Wii, respectively. But, yeah, Smash Bros. 4 I've ranted about for years, and even then it seems like a lot of the fan base has looked back and hasn't found it to be all that impressive. But now you've got Smash Ultimate coming out on the Switch. But, yeah, there's a whole lot of... Di I, I've realized there's a whole lot of differing opinions that people can have, but... Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there was one more thing about Splatoon 2 that I thought was kind of stupid. In order to form your own parties with your friends, you have to first unlock the other game modes by hitting rank 10, and then, you have to go into the other game modes, and you basically have to win enough battles until you're given, like, at least a B- rank. And... It's not, yeah, it's not like, wow, where you can, like, oh, start, start a new game, oh, form a party of your friends. Yay, party, we're working together now. The only thing that prevents you doing that from, in WoW is different factions, like your Horde Alliance, not like level 55 and, and... Yeah, well, no, it get Though, Vandalia, it gets better. The thing is, you ranking up to a B-minus rank... The microwaves being used? 
Yeah, he 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 he's using Bluetooth, I guess, or wireless on his computer. I don't know that that's it. I, I mean, people can use wireless to be fine. Get big hiccups like that. I don't know. Alright, uh, so. See what's coming. Yeah. This is one game I just got into recently that I didn't even heard about before. And it's like. Um, it's called Dog Naropa. It's. I don't know, actually. It's a triggered story and stuff, and it's like. This is my it's my first M raid game. It's my first M raid game, and uh, it's pretty good so far. And the gameplay's interesting, but yeah, I didn't I didn't even hear about this game before. I I met this one girl at, at work. Talking about Europa? Is that what you what? said? What? What you call it? Dog Europa. Your is it Europa? D A N G R O P A. Oh, there it is. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Dong the Ropa. It's like a mystery game where you kill, pe kill people. Or you, not, you don't kill people, but you solve mysteries. But yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't even hear about this game before. But apparently, it's, it's a following for it. I like it. And apparently, this one girl, <laughs> this one girl at work, I found out. It has a cosplay costume from from, from that game. Mm. I like yeah. cosplay. <laughs> Me like it cosplay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I found out. I I found about this game like like a month ago. What's it for? PS4. Well, yeah. It's a, it was originally a PSP or Vita game. This is like a re like a remastered version. You ever heard of Gachi Games? Is that? I think I have, but I can't say it's for style, sure. It's a style of games. Like a type of game. Like uh, this girl, I, I don't know, I watched her stream for a while and she like really liked Gachi, which I guess means games that like you spend a lot of money on. Uh, I don't know what exactly, it's Japanese. Alright, I see it's better, thank god. Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, Vendetta Records is here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about how, like, talking about that new game I was talking about earlier. That it was originally a PSP Vita game, Dog Europa, but went to the PS4 recently. Yeah. And this, I just found out about. Uh, it's, it's talking about this girl at work actually has a cosplay costume from it. Jeez. Very cute. <laughs> anyway. Well, uh, so d did any of my freaking Splatoon rant? Oh my god! Oh, now it's fine. This took me to go on Discord rant. <laughs> I don't want to oh, yeah. go on a Discord rant, not here. Um, but did anyone catch what I said about Splatoon? Yeah, we heard you. You got locked shit that you don't like. Yeah, and the thing and the and the thing that's kind of unfortunate is there have been occasions before where like some of the other people like Mario Tube 101, uh Brasa 455 and everybody where Huh? Nothing man, sorry. Alright, so there's been cases where they've hated <gasps> games that I like. Like Mario Tube could go on a freaking two-hour-long tirade about how much he hates Call of Duty Black Ops 3, yet I think the game, while not being anything special, is passable. And then, <laughs> Brass of 450... Yeah? Say so Then there's my tirade, but you know what? Yeah, there's that. And Brass of... You guys seem to have group hatreds for things. And then, Brass of 455 hates the Splinter Cell <laughs> series, but I actually really like it. Yeah, and I hate Birth by Sleep, but Nick, I don't know if Nick likes it or not, but I hate it. Oh, I like it. And... Even I, yeah, even though I love the series in general, that one game just pisses me off. 
But what I'm getting at here, all the stuff I dislike about Splatoon, more so I noticed it with Brasa 455 and Games for Us yesterday, but all of the things I did not like about the game, they were profusively defending the game. Like, more or less saying, oh, we, this is why we like this, and this is why you should like it too. Like, Mario 2 was also kind of doing it in the first disaster, disaster of a Splatoon stream that I did when I first booted the game up. Like, yeah, I, like, I like Battle Royales I have for years. Yeah, you, you play a lot of uh, Fortnite, don't you? Yeah, I think you do. You do. a lot of, like, Fortnite-style games. Battle Royales have been my type of game for years. And see, yeah, I haven't really played either. Battle Royale all that much. Like, I played one match of Fortnite, and then that was it. Yeah, I don't know. I like... I, I, the thing I like about multiplayer games is when you're playing with friends. I don't like it, like, tr strangers. It, it, well, I mean, see, the whole problem with me playing... Like, it seems like me playing Splatoon with friends didn't make things better, because... The way that default mode you have to rise through the ranks in, like, it's designed to where your friends aren't really necessarily going to be on your team. In fact, it seemed that the game kind of hated my guts, and there would be numerous occasions where everybody would be on the opposite team, and they would mop the floor with me. I mean, Mario Tube admitted to restraining himself because he didn't want to piss me off. But... I don't know, like, I just don't like online multiplayer games where your fun factor is entirely dependent on the people you play with, that most of them you don't even know. And I'll admit, I actually prefer playing multiplayer games that use bots, like the Time Splitters games, Counter-Strike... And, of course, I kept getting comments like, Ooh, bots are boring! But to me, I just kind of, To me, like, you can set the difficulty in a lot of games I've played that use them. And I just kind of think it's kind of cool run... Think, because the way I see it, like, bots, yeah, they're automated, but at the same time, like, you still get the same general experience you would have gotten before. And... Yeah, well, there, love, and, um, and I guess you're guaranteed not to get cheaters or hackers or anything like that. I get, a lot of online games don't don't like both. Like like in WoW, you have a bot they they like on your channel. Like right? they like, like some some like some games don't can't use bots like 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 Warcraft. Well, like obviously Dungeons. not all. A lot of games don't tend to have them. I mean, some games do, like the Call of Duty games, but. Yeah, like I said, I've been, I haven't been—I've really been a fan of MM, uh, multiplayer games for a few occasions. Like I used to play MM, like uh, PvP with with Hauser a few years ago. Battleground and stuff. Well, battle royale style games a little different. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Hang on a sec. Oh. So, what kind of games do you like? Well, my main ones are BRs, like, um... Oh, let's see though, guys. Um, let's see. I don't know how to describe Battle Royale. Battle Royale is a multiplayer game, but it's... It's not bad. It's, um... It's like a group... A game style where you take 150 people or 120 people, and you paying them against each other in a multiplayer uh, portion. It could be team solos, or duos, but it's like 50... Everybody's against everybody. I don't like the solo ones as much as I like the team ones, but that's what I've played the last five years a whole lot. i played H1Z1, put a lot of hours into that, and then i played Fortnite, and before that I played PUBG a little. I played... 
I like everything though. I'm sort of like interested in a lot of different things, to be honest. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I like Rocket League. Rocket League's fun. I play Terraria. I play old school games. I really do like old school games. <laughs> yeah, you do. You, 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 even though as much as I you used to, uh, like besides your speed run of of Nemo. Yeah, I got out of it for a little bit. I don't know, just to have the energy or whatever to do it. Yeah, you used to do. You used to have a lot of. Uh, let's on your YouTube channel. You used to do lots of old school games, like Ragar. <laughs> like, was it Ragar or Rygar? <laughs> and Star Tropics, Star Tropics, and Buck Tales, the Turtles. Yeah. yeah, I like watching the nostalgic stuff. It's cool. Trying to look it up. There's this one thing I've been wanting to try. I used to watch this guy talk about it all the time. It was a type of coffee that they sold. I want to see if I could get something. How much it costs? You guys know who Joe Rogan is? Yeah. I think I've heard that. I think I've heard that name before. He has a special type of coffee that he was telling me that he was telling everybody about or to buy. Uh. Rogan coffee. <laughs> Bulletproof coffee. This. Let me see. Bulletproof coffee. What is bullet coffee and what is the official way to make it? Oh, that looks so good. Dang, Oscar. Bulletproof coffee? Yeah. What is, it, what is it like? You, if 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 you're drinking it and a bullet goes through the cup, it, it will stop it. No, that'd be funny though. It's got where's all the stuff? It's got two tablespoon of brain octane oil. Is this brain oil? Brain oil. It's supposed to. Oh my god! They give it to you in a little fucking. And it's got what makes bulletproof. Bulletproof essentially grass is, is essentially grass-fed butter, NCT oil, and coffee brew with specially for the beans that that then grow into a blender. The resulting is a silk. Sorry, well, it's like a special coffee. I've been thinking about buying some. I haven't made coffee in a while, but I might I might try it out. I don't. I don't. I, Dude, uh, it's so, expensive. I think. I don't uh, think. Never mind then. Here. Like, yeah. like, I always like trying new things, but money is an issue sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to sidetrack you, sorry. It's okay. Because this is what we do sometimes. We, but I, I think it's weird. To, maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm just old school. Maybe I was, like, maybe I was richer back then, I guess. Not really that richer, but to take your. I, I thought it was weird. People take their prom dates to McDonald's. No, your stream's not on right now. And it's reconnecting. Oh yeah, let me refresh it. Oh. So, you have to hit stop streaming and start streaming. You can't just sit there and wait for it. It's stop and start. And I mean, it's refresh. reconnected already, but... I mean, if Sometimes Van Daly wants if to try it. stop and start, it fixes it. Hmm. Alright, anyways... I don't know what happened. Anyways, the boat part got cut out, but yeah, it was pine. I went to the pine club for prom. It was expensive, but it's, I think I've been. It, like I said, to me, it just felt weird to uh, see people. I mean, like old school, I guess, but see taking your prom date to McDonald's for prom. I'm like, it's just weird to me. Yeah, who takes their prom date to McDonald's? I pay a lot of people in Vendelia do. <laughs> in this in this generation. I never did. Did you, did you go to your prom, senior prom? Uh, I went to something called Prim. It was a church sponsored event. Oh, and, I remember uh, that. I remember that. I went to a, I went to I think I went to a Prim as a chaperone. I was like going to church. I quit. It was like they had it on like the, the uh, Ohio River. 
a prim thing. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't really participate in your um, what you would describe as your average American prom experience. The whole I don't know. It's like a cliche. Yeah, I oh, went to my. Yeah, I went to my senior prom only because it was free ticket. I'm like, okay, it's free, might as well go. And then junior prom I didn't go to. I did go to after prom, both after proms. Yeah, I went to my junior after prom even though I didn't go to my junior prom. And then I, and I went to my senior prom but it was because it was, it was a free ticket. So I'm like, okay, it's free, whatever. I, I didn't like that whole social experience that they, they create, the whole environment of dancing with your peers. I don't know. I liked meeting people, but like that just was never my thing. But it's not a thing either. It kind of puts a weird type of... Uh, hold, on, I'm gonna, hold on a sec. Um, yeah, I just, I just didn't get into the prom thing. I, know, I hated school, to be honest. I was a kid. I, yeah, I love school. I hate the people in it. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. Nick, you there? Yeah. Yeah, Nick didn't go to his prom either. Well, it's a I long story. I hated the teachers. I hated the people in it. I hated the experience. I wanted to get out of it. I got out of it. I'm so much happier. Now I hate everybody. Well, it's a long story why I didn't go to the prom. Let's just say um, I was cheated out of a date. And um, the uh, in a last-ditch effort, a teacher that liked me tried hooking me up with a date only to... Only for me to find out the date wasn't really into it. Pity, pity date. Yeah, more or less. A pity date? What does that mean? I guess... I guess it refers to... You, it can refer to a date that only goes out with you... Um... Not because they're into you, but just because out of pity that no one else wants to go with you. <clears throat> mm. well, fuck those people. I'd rather not go without them in the first... Anyways. <laughs> they don't want to. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I politely declined afterward, and I just didn't go to prom. Which was probably for the best, because the guy who became prom king actually really hated my guts. So I didn't have to witness that. You ate his, did you ate his guts? No, I would have been fine with him, but he just hate. But he just for some reason hated my guts, despite <laughs> loving everyone else. Like legit, when I was in the same classroom as him, he would give me looks as though he wanted to fucking slit my throat. Was this a, was this a fallout from your middle school snick days? No, I didn't even know this kid until senior year of high school. That's weird. I mean, the only thing I know is that supposedly he had special needs, but, like, why, why me? <laughs> like, it's like, I'm the only kid in the entire school that this kid hated. Hmm. Like, that's what it freaking felt like. In fact, I could have sworn there was, there... like, little to zero people in school that I liked. I had, like, four friends... And I think the, most of the talking that we did together was done in the morning before class. We'd meet up before school in this corner, and I met there, like, every day for, like, four years. And we just chat and make jokes about stupid kid shit, video game, mostly video game related. Hmm. Yeah, I had a table I sat at at Butler, too, every, every four years, right? We, we found a table our, our freshman year, and we, we always sat there in the morning in the cafeteria all the time. I freaking didn't even go to the lunchroom, like, mostly because one kid that would, had it out for me. My mom used to pack me lunch. <laughs> she sucked at packing lunch. It was like wheat bread, which is like the worst bread on with peanut butter. It's like the most driest bread with the most driest topping. Was, 
Jesus. <laughs> Give me a break. And she never paid for... We never got... I never got money, so it was either I had to deal with nothing or just eat the, the driest peanut butter sandwich you could imagine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I see Vendetta Records the, puts like some... the, the, the high school foods were so... As far as I'm concerned, we're like 600 times better than what I was used to eating. <laughs> yeah. Even though they were shit, they're like, really, in reality, they're shit, but they were like, we'd all have some tater tots over a fucking peanut butter sandwich. And a oh, yeah. Stick. I, I, I ate peanut butter sandwich in a while. But yeah, my no jelly, year... no jelly, just peanut butter. Yeah, my senior year, I started skipping lunches, kind of pocketing the money a little bit, a few times. Like, I just pocketed the two dollars. Yeah, for a while, did you have it on a card? Uh, for a while, they came out with these cards that kids could have. I don't know if that was in your generation or not. They, I, I, they I had, remember I seeing they, people with them, but I, I think they did have lunch cards for people. But I think that was more of a, I know, not when I was, it was more of a, more of a poor, I say, say poor person thing, more of a, you know, under the means that you, you could, at least for me, lunch cards like, 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 if you couldn't afford lunch all the time. Hmm. I think it's for more poorer families. I, I I think I qualify for that. Here's a good topic. What do you think about? Um, it's called not AI. It is AI, artificial intelligence. Do you think that someday uh, there'll be robots that can just do everything and everything we think of, and that will like take over the world? I don't know if that far, but I think we're getting there. Like, like. Like in the game, like the game, oh, it's back to the game thing again. Uh, like in the game, I grew up with one of the games has, has, they go to a computer, there's like an AI virus that takes over, takes over a virtual reality thing. I don't think we're that far advanced yet. For it. But, uh, first, and again, there are sex robots now. Well, there actually do exist. Well, the router's all the way upstairs, and there's no way I can stretch that shit down here. Oh, you're back live again. So, are you taking over? Uh, I don't know. Just might as well wrap this. Up. Uh, I, I we also talking about. Hey, you, how's are you still you still there? Yeah, I'm here, man. You forgot the other topic. The other thing we talked about was earlier topic. Did you ever get? You ever got like like sad over a a game character death or? No, never been touched like. Uh, that way over a game. I'm, there's something, there's got to be something that's come close, a story or whatever, but I can't, I have to think about it. Like something that's made me that mad. Um, like mad or I've sad. Like, angry. I've definitely gotten angry over games. Um, but, but you haven't got like, 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 like someone character died, you're like, oh my god, I love that character. Why they fucking die? Mm, I felt that way about TV shows before. Yeah, let's say, let's say the same thing. TV why, show game. Why did they shut the TV show off? Like, I loved Tool Time, even though it might sound trivial. I thought Tool Time was an amazing show, <laughs> and I just like they took it off. I was like, No, Tool Time, come back! I love you, Tim Allen. But I don't know. I miss that. Yeah. I miss a lot of TV shows when they just shut them off. Like Futurama was good, and I know they're coming out with like this thing on Netflix. It's like um. I think it's made by the same people. It looks like the same yeah. style of art. Uh, yeah, I hate shows where they end it pre. Uh, see, it's sad, not angry. Where they end it prematurely, you know, like they don't have they don't have a really conclusion to it. They're like it's like open ended finale, and like who knows what happened? Like fuck you. Like a lot of the old uh, ABC Family shows did that. Like like oh like oh my god, cliffhanger ending. Oh, what will happen? We'll never know because the show got canceled. Bye! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Fucking Sparrow says a game called To the Moon has a nice ending, and apparently it was made in RPG Maker. <laughs> and you get yourself a good game made in RPG Maker, and then you have middle school schnick. Hey, Sparrow, long time no see. <laughs> There's anything wrong.
You know what? Now I, I think I'll actually go on the phone now. Alright. Alright, let's actually get on the goddamn phone. No, 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 not Twitch. Computer. On the goddamn thing. All right, I'm going to disconnect. Add me back to the call. All right. You still there, Hauser? I'm here, brother. All right, see if I can... Uh, see. Uh, where's Snick at? Hmm. Where are you? Uh, God damn it. Uh, can't... Seem to add him back. Oh, uh, let me try. A second. Yeah, I think you have to be friends with him. Yeah, fr yeah friends yeah. with him? I'm not. I'm going to add him, though. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey. Did I disconnect? Oh, damn it. It's in the top right corner. It said, Hold on. Ugh. All right, figure this out now. Because. So are you, did you put us online? Yeah, kind of. Uh, What's yeah, house, sir? I, I, had to, I had to kick them and try to join again. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. There, try this try again. Uh. Hello? There, finally. I had to reconnect the call. No, well, he's gone. God damn it. The fuck was that? Oh my fucking god. Oh, there Jesus. The there it works again. Oh my god. God. Yes. This is the issue we have with Discord. Some that hates us for some reason. I never said you had to use Discord. I just like it. That's all I said. Uh, yeah, just I, I like it sometimes. I like it for group chat and stuff, but yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely. I guess just like this is. That's why I don't like it's like, it's like hosting the podcast because this. Uh, uh, why don't you take a breather, take some time to relax, restart your stream, and come back to it if you feel like it. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Ain't the end of the world. Yeah. Pretty much broken pieces anyways uh, at this point. All your friends bailed on you tonight or something? Yeah. Yeah, they did. They, they did. Uh -huh. That's okay. Yeah, I don't like this. Is, sometimes it's, it's stressful doing this. Well, if it's stressful, then you think you're doing it wrong. No, it's be fun. No, anything lately, a lot of things stresses me out. It might be a mental thing I have. I will say Splatoon fucking stressed me out because me trying to get to rank 10 so I could actually enjoy the the game, and then of course I keep getting comments, oh, you'll get to rank 10 in no time, and yet fucking, it feels like it's almost a week since I got the damn game, I'm still not even there. Hmm. Probably doesn't help that I got, now I get bored with this, the game 
so quickly that I don't even I usually struggle to keep it on for more than a couple of matches and yet everybody else on the internet freaking they go on and it's like almost civilization addicting and I'm like what the f fuck you oh civilization that's another thing I, I, I used to love I used to, I, used to be all about, I used to love civilization games and I'm like thinking are, did we play the same game like even civilization like that game can be addicting just because it is a lot of outcomes it's got a fucking thing <laughs> Jesus Going AVGN on goddamn talking time with caffeine. There we go. Uh, I just be careful about yourself, PJ. Oh, uh, God. Alright, let's see if I can figure this out. Uh. Now I'm trying to watch the podcast. Okay, just even working. so I can see the chat. It's not working. Uh, I don't know. Where's... Maybe you could Maybe. just, you know try and reset it all and just have a little stream where you just play games or something. That may that might be a yeah, little bit there's... Yeah, we're, do we're doing that on his that channel. Deal. We might as well do that.